The most successful business owners can, with confidence, answer the question, how is my business doing? They know what to measure and how to back up their store's performance with sufficient, accurate data. Now it's lucky for you, Big Commerce knows exactly what to measure and how to measure it, and then wraps it all up in a bow and places it right inside of your control panel. So let's go ahead and take a look at your store's Big Commerce analytics. Under analytics in your control panel, you'll find a list of reports. Depending on your Big Commerce plan, some of these reports may or may not be available. To gain access, you'll want to upgrade your plan. But let me explain exactly what you're getting with these reports. Now, the Store Overview Report gives you a sense of all your store's key metrics in one place. It's great to spot check when you only have a moment to peek at your business's performance. You can easily adjust the date range right here. This will allow for you to take a look at timeframes and make a comparison or possibly uncover positive or negative trends. Below, you can see total orders, revenue, customers, visits, conversion rate, and even your average order value. Take advantage of these informational pop-ups as well. Anytime you see percentages associated with a metric, this indicates the percentage of change that occurred when compared to the previous time period of the same length. For instance, if you look at a single month, this percentage of change metric shows the comparison to the month that came before. As you can imagine, this can serve as a great indicator of how adjustments to your website, promotions, your marketing efforts, and so many other things are actually performing. This is where you want to look to see if your tweaks and adjustments are impacting your business. Next is a simple chart that displays the revenue of your business hour by hour, day by day, week by week, or in whatever interval makes the most sense to you. The following two reports do have deeper dives available if you click through, but we're in the store overview section, so this is providing us a quick snapshot. You can see your purchase funnel, which gives you a high level view of your conversion points, as well as trending information right here at the bottom. This will help you identify what's working and what needs some more attention. Next is your abandoned cart report. This summary shows how much potential revenue you've lost, how many carts have been abandoned, the rate in which potential customers are abandoning, and your top abandoned products along with how much impact each one could have on your bottom line. This can be a shocker as over 70% of shopping carts are abandoned on average. This is why the abandoned cart saver feature comes in so handy. As you scroll, you'll notice a top product feed. This is a great place to see if seasonality or new marketing campaigns are actually taking effect. Also, it's always a good idea to place your top sellers on your homepage, since that's likely what shoppers are looking for. Or, perhaps you want to buy more of that particular piece of inventory. Or, pivot your business overall. Everyone's going to use these metrics a little bit differently. The last two summaries are a top categories report and then a top visits by origin summary. This last one will be a favorite for beginners as it's going to show which channels drive the most traffic to your business. This is going to help you understand where to spend more time and money on marketing. The next report in our analytics lineup is the real-time report. This report will show you revenue, items, orders, and visits on a second-by-second -second basis. You'll also find an activity stream to the right that will give you a sense of where folks are coming from right now. Whether it's Google or Facebook, you will know. Now toward the bottom, you'll see a product stream displaying products being purchased right now. The real-time report is particularly helpful when launching a merchandising campaign or a new promotion. Not only will you see real-time revenue impact, but you'll also be able to react and optimize campaigns midstream. This can have a huge return on investment for you. Next up in our analytics lineup is the merchandising report. This is all about diving deeper into your product catalog so that you can best understand its performance and make major or minor adjustments to save you time and make some more money. This report provides visibility on all the categories in your business, down to the product level. And if you're a savvy business owner using SKUs or stock keeping units, you'll be able to see that your small red shirt isn't moving, but the large is selling like hotcakes. The merchandising report will help you take your business to the next level. The marketing report will knock your socks off. This report delivers total visibility into all the different marketing activities that you're using to drive traffic to your store. And it's all in one place. No jumping around to Google Analytics and all those other places. You'll have the ability to click through each channel and dive deeper into the data so that you can analyze it. The marketing report allows for you to understand what marketing channels are working and what's not on a very granular level. Next up, we have the orders report. This provides you total orders, 
units sold, revenue, percent of orders discounted, and average order value for whatever time range that you've selected. This is a great place to take a look when you're running sales, offering promotions or coupons, running referral programs, anything where you've extended a discount. Additionally, you can identify things like whether or not you're having issues with returns or exchanges. Below, you'll also see a graph to help uncover trends and even a summary of each order that was discounted. This will help you get that granular understanding so that you can examine a particular order or a particular product that's doing well or perhaps causing a problem. Now, the customer's report. This is all about understanding what happens once you've driven shoppers to your online store. This report will show you exactly where your customers are coming from and the percentage of new versus returning customers. You'll also have access to individual customer profiles, which will make it a snap for you to understand your customer's behavior. Down below, you'll see profiles that detail every order a customer has placed. This information will help you build highly effective customer loyalty programs that actually work. You'll be able to create tailored marketing campaigns based on customer history so that you can tap your existing customers rather than constantly spending loads of money to acquire new customers. Simply, this report will help you grow your business wisely rather than furiously trying to attract more customers in a competitive landscape. Next, we have our purchase funnel. This report shows you details on how a customer is making their way through your store and at what rate they convert during each step of the process. Again, you can set whatever date range you'd like so that you can see how many customers have visited, looked at a product, put an item in their cart, and completed the checkout process. Below, you'll see trends over time so that you can monitor adjustments that you've made to your store to streamline the purchasing experience. It's really important to monitor how your changes are boosting your store's conversion rate overall and also reducing cart abandonment. The abandoned cart report is, again, showing how much potential revenue you've lost, how many carts have been abandoned, the rate in which potential customers are abandoning, and your top abandoned products. Along with that, you'll see how much impact each one could be having on your bottom line. Meanwhile, the abandoned cart recovery report will help you in understanding the impact the abandoned cart saver is having on your business. You'll be able to see trends over time and understand how many carts were abandoned, how many carts were recovered, and just how much money you've gotten back with this feature that automatically emails your customers. Yep, you can just set it and forget it and watch the revenue roll in. Last but not least, we have the in-store search report. This is referring to the search function located at the top of your store. This feature is all about uncovering your shopper's intent when coming to your store and then helping them find what they need quickly so that they can make that purchase. Not only will you get an overview, but you can actually locate keywords with results to see what are your most popular items. You'll also be able to see keywords without results so that you can make repairs or possibly extend your inventory if you're not carrying something people are interested in. Plus, you can actually see your best and worst performing keywords. Also, check out the search term corrections that were made by customers so that you can actually make adjustments to your in-store search settings to better serve shoppers so that they turn in to buyers. Oh yeah, you've got quite a few metrics at your disposal, but we wanted to make sure that you have all the tools and information that you need to help your business grow. So check out our additional resources for more information, and if you have a specific question about improving your store's performance, pop into our BigCommerce forum at forum.bigcommerce.com.